Hey guys, so I wanted to throw down a really quick tutorial, very similar to what I did yesterday, only it's gonna be with more of like a jelly jello shot design. These are optic gels. They're basically a jelly gel polish. I like to use these ones on a white. I know it's kind of redundant. You could have just used solid one, blah, 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 blah. You could, but I kind of like the, the blending and the jelly effect that this happens to give. Now, before I put down my jelly colors, I did use a layer of top coat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that guy down. And then I'm gonna go through, the first one I used my ombre brush, like you had seen in my previous videos, but um, this one I'm using my fine shader brush. It's just a little bit kind of bulkier, I guess. But here you can really, really see how it still spreads out and does its cool little swirly pattern. These remind me of Slurpees, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I, I just, I like these ones. They're very summery to me. So we're gonna just call these some Slurpee smoke. Slurpee smoke. Here I'm just gonna go through. This one I'm gonna do with the blue first and just kind of pull it on through. I'm gonna switch my brush in just a second because I found out that using different brushes, the fine shader, the ombre brush, and right here is the perfect lace, or I'm sorry, fine lace brush. I really, really like how when you mix them all together, this one just gets it like nice and thin and detailed. So it just gives it a different effect. All three of them do kind of something different. So here I'm gonna do, start with this one. I just want to show you guys different, you know, what it looked like using different types of brushes and different types of, you know, strokes and whatnot. When you have the bigger brushes, you're obviously putting more product on at once and blending that around. Whereas when you're using a thin brush like this guy, it's such a small amount, but it gives a, it still gives a really, really cool effect. And I'm also going to change up my top coats I am using a shiny top coat as well as a matte top coat. Why? Because I can. Because they give two completely different, um, different textures. They just they look really, really freaking cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.